Hey guys, this is Sean from SeanHunter.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the dual screen or split screen feature on your Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus smartphone for better productivity to use two applications side by side at the very same time. So let's just start it. So to use the split screen feature on your Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus, what you have to do, first of all, you need to tap on this recent application icon here. So if you tap on this, you will find lots of applications in this list. And in each of these application window at the top, you will find this double square, not all of them, but all those applications that support split screen feature you will find this option here so for example you want to check the messages and you want to browse the internet at the same time so you need to just tap on this dual rectangle here so you can see that the messages it's coming now on the half part of the screen and this part is still uh, available to select another application so let's select the browser and you can see that now in the upper part there is messages lower part there is the browser so if i just go here on the browser now you can see now i can do whatever i want and for example here is shamanda.com's homepage you can browse it right now and you can also keep working on your messages you can type a message, you can send it to anyone, you can read it. If you want, you can go to the contacts and you can keep browsing the internet here as well. So this is how you can activate the split screen or dual screen on your Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. Now you can even customize it according to your requirements. So if you just tap on this center part here, you will get lots of options. Obviously, this is to close the split screen mode, so this is not of our use. The first one is adjustment of the window. If you tap on it, you will get the option to resize the window. For example, this window was activated at that time, so I can just resize it the way I want. And once I resize it, it will go on the top like this. So you can see now the browser is coming at the top and it's capturing only that much screen the part of the screen uh, which I selected you can just tap on it once again and you can resize it once again if you tap on it resizing will be lost it's 50 50 right now tap on it once again first of all you need to select which window you want right now you are using this browser window if you want to customize another window tap on it and then tap on this and now you can see that I can customize resize the messages window and whatever window you will resize it will go on the top you need to keep this thing in mind after that tap on done you can see messages is coming at the top and here is the browser so this is the customization option number one tap on it another is switching the window if you are not comfortable with the uh, location for example if you want browser to be on the top and messages on the uh, lower part tap on this rotate icon and the windows will switched from top to bottom bottom to top you can do it as much as many times as you want it's not a problem then there is the third option if you tap on it you can resize the windows in a new way so you can see now the background is one window that's browser and then there's a smaller window here of messages so this is a nice feature and here you can use this window in the background you can see I'm using the browser in the background while this messaging window is sticked and then I can use it here as well once I tap on it and I can use it side by side and if you have a look on the smaller window here you will find once again three options close expand and shrink so if you tap on this shrink option here so the messages is removed from the screen and now it's coming in the shape of an icon if you tap on it once again the window will come here as you can see here if you want to read the content on the web browser and you want to hide this window just tap on it and it will go on the top and then 
you can access it once again here from here. And if you tap on expand, obviously it will expand the window on and only one window will appear on the screen instead of two windows as you can see here. So if you tap on recent menu once again, you will see the list of all the application and which all application can be run uh, in the dual mode. So you can see that here is settings and here let's consider camera. So you can use the camera and you can use another application at the very same time. So this is how you can use the split screen or dual screen feature on your Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus smartphone. And then there is another method. For that you need to go to the settings and go to the advanced features and uh, here you will find an option called multi-window tap on it so you will find two options here so the first one is use recent buttons touch and hold the recent buttons to open apps in a split screen view and another one is pop-up view action so what exactly it does let me turn them on first if we wanted to go to the dual screen mode we just needed to press the recent screen and select the application from here but after activating the first option what it does exactly for example if you're browsing the internet and press and hold the recent application button for a while then the screen will be divided into like this so you can see now the screen is divided in two parts and on the first part there is browser and here you can select any other application for example settings so you can see this is what recent buttons uh, use recent buttons option does exactly and you can still use the first method and if you need to get out of it you need to press the recent app button for a while so again the screen will be back to single window so this is the option number one another option what it does that if you are using anything on the screen and if you just swipe from one edge to downwards then the screen will be reduced here as you can see now that the screen is divided in two parts first part is the home screen and here is the browser window and you will find the same three options that we have seen in a uh, previous method you can expand it you can reduce it to a tiny icon you can expand it or you can just close it so this is the another option and this is what exactly it does if you go to the multi window and turn on pop up view action. So, these are the multiple methods that you can use on your Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus to use the split screen, dual screen, or multi screen feature. So, that's all for now, friends. Thanks for watching the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos, tips, and tricks. And answer news like this. Have a nice day.